understand the passion for greatly itself. You can read. Although Brahma in his samadhi cannot obtain a glimpse of even a ray of the tips of the nails of your feet, still, He Achyuta, having heard of the waves of your astonishing mercy, I yearn to see you. So as we hear often description from Lotus Mahaprabhu Gurudev also, and it seems that these topics, not just topics, these realm of devotion is so far, is so far. And when we compare our position, we are so fallen, completely engrossed in our bodily consciousness and always hovering on a mental platform, sometimes feeling enthusiastic, inspired, and other times we are again doomed and depressed. So when we hear this and the exalted stages, then sometimes it feels that, oh, what's the hope? There's no hope. And then we see even Brahma, who is the creator and is also uh, our Adi Guru, even if for him these things are too difficult, then what is our hope? Where do we come and count? We don't even come in the line. So, in order to still inspire us, Sri Rupa Goswami Pad is saying this, that Krishna's inconceivable potency, his causeless mercy is so powerful that if feeling so much helpless, feeling so humble down, if we pray, with folded hands and with all our gratitude and pray in this parab, in, in this line, in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami, then certainly we can have this. There is no doubt about it. So being sure of this, having full conviction in these things, if we recite this word, then surely this Godless mercy of Krishna will uh, will bestow, will, we will, manage, will benefit by this mercy of Krishna and we will be able to get this thing. Then he's saying, Bhakti Rudanchati Yadhyapi Madhav Natwe Mamuti Lamatri Parameshwarta Tadapi Tavadhik Durghat Ghatana Vidhatri. O Madhav, although I don't possess even a season seed of bhakti for you, by your supreme power, which makes the impossible possible, please fulfill the desire of my heart. So again he's repeating the same mood. And if we hear the true definition of bhakti, which is para bhakti, shuddha bhakti, kevla bhakti, deva bhakti. When we hear these things, then we see that 
it's too difficult for us because that is completely on a spontaneous platform and we hear that Shla Bilba Mangal Thakur has been accounted to be a sadhak, he's a beginner of sadhak. So what are we doing? We are not even doing sadhana. And when we hear about this uh, Shuddha Bhakti, it's so difficult. And we also hear that uh, unless we develop a certain particular type of tree, we cannot have this. Now here, Shri Gurudev is explaining again and again that though we are completely disqualified, we are not qualified, we are unqualified for these things, but the nature of bhakti is that it does not expect any eligibility conditions in regard of some qualities, like some may be very pious and uh, may be very truthful, honest, and may be very pranadati, very tolerant and all these things, so that person only is subjected to her bhakti, it's not like that. A person may be fallen as Jagai Madhai, and if we see our position, then it be, we are even more fallen than him, if we really realize it. So what's the hope? So then it said that if still by the association of some Rasika Vahuk Bhakta, who is completely saturated, Mahal gives the example of Rasagulla, like the Rasagulla, if he is saturated like that, and if you are fortunate enough to get the association of such devotee, then by his association, you can have a greed. Agreed to serve Krishna in Braja like Nanda Yashoda, like Gopis, like his Sakhas. And that greed itself is so powerful that it will attract this spontaneous devotion in our heart and one day sure we will progress in this path of devotional service. So this is the potency uh, of Krishna's uh, bhakti. That is, uh, this is the inconceivable potency which can even make things possible which are impossible. And this is the most impossible thing. Because we are completely conditioned soul, how can we have this? So this is the most impossible thing. It can still be made possible. And in the last verse he's saying, I am a vilola tyagte sanatan kalita bhutara sabharam nivasatu nitya mihamrita nindini bindana madhuri masaram He sanatan, your lotus feet put to shame the sweetness of heavenly nectar. Therefore, please make the bee of my mind undistracted by material desires and give me eternal residence at your lotus feet. This is my only prayer. So, one thing we can notice here that in all the verses he is praying for mercy. Why he is praying for mercy so much? And then verse, uh, there is one verse uh, uh, in the Shastras it says, Ataha Sri Krishna Namadi Nabhavet Grahyam Indriye Sevan Mukhohi Jivado Swamevas Purtela that the transcendental name of the Lord which is identical with the Lord is non different. It's completely transcendental and because it's transcendental and spiritual, it's not possible for a conditioned soul to utter this name with material senses and material mind. It's not possible. Only by its causeless mercy or by the causeless mercy of the devotee of the Lord this name comes and dances on the tongue of a devotee. Now, when it comes, still, it's so delicate in the nature, it's very sensitive, and even if we commit a little bit of offense against uh, either devotee or devotion or God himself, Krishna, then it will vanish very quickly. So we need mercy at all points. Constantly we have to pray for mercy. Constantly we have to uh, hold on tight to the lotus feet of our Gurudev Vaishnavas and pray hard and hard that uh, maybe not, I mean if they allow then for sure always we can be merged in this ocean of uh, bliss and in this humble attitude and that we should respect everybody and we should see our uh, insig insignificant position and in comparison to that when we see that these things where we want, the realm where we want to go is so uh, vast and so difficult, so only their mercy is hope for us. So when we continuously pray, then certainly God will be merciful and His devotees, they are also even more merciful than Him, then there is some hope for us. So I will not take some more, more of the time and we'll give from you. So we should try to learn the processes of chanting her name, the process of our prayer to Krishna, our prayer to Govardhan, our prayer to Radha Kund, 
or prayer to the devotees or prayer to Guru. These are the process. Not like that. Oh God, give me bread and butter. Oh God, give me very beautiful wife, very beautiful husband, so good child, so wealth, reputation. It will come by your impressions of past lives. So don't be very fun. These are all anatha. These are problems and some difficulties in the way of bona fide love. We are told something. I told in walking, what is the difference between seen and aparat? Sin related to body and mind, but aparat, they are very much related to soul. So if you can do aparat, apa, arad, two words, arad means affection, will go out. Aap will go out. And then our bhakti and everything sadhavi uprooted. So we should be very careful. If you have no aparat but yet you have some anartha. Anart means no artha iti anart. What is here? The meaning of artha? Huh? Yes, like this. What we want and how we will be happy. I will have to come to this miserable, full of sufferings, ego and all these things in this world. So those who are like badha, obstacles in this, these are called if there is no apara, but yet it may be there, anas. So I told Anishtita Bhakti Praj in morning, yesterday, yesterday. yesterday. six kinds of Kutsahamari Ghanta land of Ayurveda. If they are gone away, then four kinds of anas are there. And even there four are gone, again four are there. Then the Sadha will be Nishtha. And then or after that you will do, it will be Nishtha. But there are four and four, you will explain. to listen it very carefully. <coughs> if you are aware and you are given up all this honor, then your bhakti will be bona fide. And the gate of bhakti will, will be open for you and you can enter. Otherwise you cannot enter. Always involving, coming, going in, in these honors. So you should know and careful of heart please. Ongo gyana timiran sadiman jana salakaya Chakshur nilitam yena tasmai sri gurave namaha Vancha kalpata rubbas chakripa sindhu bhaye vacha Patitana bhava nibho vishna nibho namo namo Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare At first I prostrate my humble Dandavas Pranam, the Rudaskita Gurudev, and after that, humble Dandavas Pranam to all Vaishnavas. Please mercy on me. I can fulfill Sri Gurudev's desires. Just you have heard from Gurudev's lotus mouth that 
seen and operar quite difference since related with body and mind and operar related with soul about the operar do they have explained today in during to morning work bosno operar is very dangerous is after the creeper of bhakti so we had to be aware of bosno operar we have explained it today also that the in nama parad 10 kinds of nama parad why not explain as before guru abagga why at first satang ninda because we think always that oh i am bosno he is also bosno sometimes we do joke or oh, sometimes don't neglect him like this so there is so many chance for bosno operar sometimes we criticize another bosno but guru dev is guru dev so we have some opulence and some so much regards for him so there is very rare chance to do opera this lotus feet but sometimes you neglect sometimes cannot carry his order and this so we have to be a from this opera <coughs> so guru dev explained yesterday about anishtita bhakti that means some ghanatala just you have heard about two minutes before after that there is more anartha is there if there is no opera yet some anartha it is called loy vikche aprotipatti kosar rasasar loy means go to the sleep as like sikirtan savan smaran if you do kirtan we are told do kirtan then you are doing kirtan Nitai Gaur Hari Gaur just like trampoline. They are jumping on the trampoline like this. Then there is no chance of sleep at all. But when you hear, if I hope that you have hear from Guru Dev, if somebody is going to the sleep, Guru Dev told, don't go to the sleep because every hair Maya is too all around this world with his two girls, Ian and Lejines. If you take shelter of oil and don't listen carefully, then Maya will send his two daughters at first. They are as you come and you make you sleep, so you can't hear Hari Katha. So during Kirtan, you will sleep not come very easily, but during Savan, there is so lot of chance for sleepness. After that, Kirtan Savan Smaran. When you remember. Mainly when we chant our Gayatri mantra, <coughs> Guru Dev told that we don't think about any material thing during chanting our Gayatri mantra and another thing. So try to engage your mind fully. You can involve your mind the first times of Krishna and Mahaprabhu during chanting your Gayatri mantra. At that time, sleep comes very easily. So. Gradually, Savan more than Savan to Kirtan, at first Kirtan. After that, more in Savan, more in Smaran. Sleep comes in this kind of life. This is one kind of one earth. There are big chair. Guru is giving lecture. We want to hear. I want to follow Tato, but sometimes here, sometimes could not hear. Sometimes mind go another anywhere else. Big C B means specially C means obstacle. So you will not follow his lecture totally. Sometimes Guru Dev asks, oh, "What shall I tell just now? Can you explain?" Oh, Guru Dev, I can say. Why not? Because we could not hear attentively his whole words. It is called Big C. Aprotipatti. Aprotipatti means there is strong desire. To do all these things, that means no avida bhakti, swanam kirtanam visnu vismaranam pada sevanam archanam bandhanam dasa sakhmatmani vedanam iti punsar pita visnu bhakti stena valakhana kriyad bhagavat tadhatan manyadita muttamam. We are to do at our best. That we shall hear from Guru Dev and Vishnu was we superior to me. And kirtan, small everything in. Nine parts of devotion. After that, in Sastra is 
strongly announced that Sadhu Sangha Nam Kirtan Bhagavat Savan Mudra Vasi Murti Shraddhai Savan that if we do these five kinds of devotion, then Srila Dupa Sai Pad is, is explaining in his Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu, the nectar, in his book Nectar of Devotion, that Guru Hadhute Virijasmin Sadha Duryastu Panchake Jatka Salpa Visamanda Sadhyam Hava Janmane. If there is no offense, if he is very simple, if there is any kind of connection about this five, then easily he can get bhav. We heard from Gurudev. We try to hear, try to obey his order, try to do kirtan, try to smaran. There is strong desire, yet we could not follow it. It is called apratipatti. Have desire, but could not do. Apratipatti. Kasai. Kasai means fault. That I am doing bhajan, but there is some other desire has come in my mind. It is called kasai. Just like Naradrisi, when at his first life was son of Dasi, and after his mother expired, don't care for his mother, dead body, he went there for bhajan. Naradrisi warned that being in forest, I shall do bhajan. But he has not strong desire that I should do bhajan, I should satisfy Krishna at any cost, at any means. But he has desire that being in his forest, I want to do bhajan of Krishna. So, it is one kind of kosai. It, because you know that city or town is rajasik, village is, tam, city and, village is tamasik, and born in, to live in forest is sattik, and mon niketanastu nirgunam. That means temple higher, bona fide Vaishnav and Guru is there under guidance him. Under guidance is living in temple, it is called Nirgun Bas. Narasi want to be in Sattik Banavas. So this is one kind of Kasai. When God give him darshan, thereafter he just like lightning and disappear. And sound came from sky. For oh, this lifetime you cannot get more darshan because you have some Kasai. Kasai means little fault. So we have to be care from this Kasai also. And Rasasad, leading Savan, Kirtan and Smaran. There is some test, test means material test come in our mind. Sometimes we are chanting our Gayatri, that my mind goes some susa. Oh, I have seen as before very good su. I have to purchase this. Or oh, sometimes so I have seen in market, oh, very good drink. Oh, I have to purchase at any cost. I am chanting, Guru has given mantra, but my mind, this kind of material desire is coming in my mind, this is called Rasasa. That means, during Savan Kirtan Smaran, if material test came in my mind, it is called Rasasa. After that, if it will go, here there is some anartha. As before, with Savan Ghanatara, it is thick. After that, it is thin. And after that some anartha yet, it is more thinner than as before. It is called Sukriti Uttha Anartha, Duspiti Uttha Anartha, Bhakti Uttha Anartha, Aparad Uttha Anartha. Sukriti means pious activity. Duspiti means bad activity. And Aparad means, we have heard as before Aparad. And Bhakti Uttha means due to Bhakti. Gradually, I want to explain. Sukriti Uttha. In past birth, we have done so many activity. Just like somebody has done, dig so many ponds for taking bath, and there is very far, far, far away, so many villages. When pilgrims go through this way, they can take drink water there, they can take bath there. For them they have dig very very big pond. Somebody may hospital, school. It is due to these things, now he is enjoying so many things. It is called Sukriti Uttha Anartha. And Duskriti Uttha Anartha, for these things he could not fix his mind totally in that devotee, devotion and devotional practices. 
दुष्कृति उत्तम अर्थ इन पास्ट पास्ट वार्ड वी हैव डन सो मेनी बेड एक्टिविटीज फॉर दिस समर इज सफरिंग फॉर डिसीज सो मेनी काइंड ऑफ डिसीज दिस टाइम ही हैज नो बेड कर्म एट ऑल येट यू नो सम चाइल्ड टेक बार फ्रॉम बार इज ब्लाइंड somebody jam somebody lame why because he has done past work in bad activity activity due to this we are doing bhajan but our mind could not fix totally in bhajan is due to duskriti utha anartha and bhakti utha anartha before pure devotion it is called apara bhakti ड्यूटी अपरा भक्ति सो मेनी नेम फेम रेपुटेशन केम इफ वी थिंक दैट इट इज ड्यूटी माई भक्ति आई हेव डन सो मेनी डेवोशन सो इट इज कम इफ यू इनवॉल्व इन दिस थिंग्स देन यू गो फार अवे फ्रॉम डिवोशन इफ ड्यू टू अपरा भक्ति इफ एनी काइंड ऑफ नेम फेम रेपुटेशन केम वी हैव टू reconcile this that this is not duty my bhakti my bhakti is not pure this is impure bhakti this is apara bhakti it is due to gurudev's mercy so gurudev is owner of this name fame and reputation we never deserve for a name fame and reputation due to the influence of guru pad padma it's come to me by the i am not owner of this i am not enjoyer of enjoyer of this gurudev is enjoyer and he what he likes he can do i am not qualified for this if we anbhav we have to go far away from devotion and aparadutha if we not want yet some kind of aparad scam can come can come due to so many circumstances we don't want to criticize any question of us sometimes come oh he is very bad person I don't know about him at all. I never do association with him at all. Yet, circumstances can we want to say like this? So it is aparadutha anartha. So we have to be aware from this anartha. If we, by mercy of Guru and Vishnu, remove of this by anarthas, beyond of this anarthas, then steadiness, then nishtha will come. So we have to pray regularly, lotus feet up. Gurudev, Vishnu, and just like Gurudev told us, Govardhan, Krishna, Simad Radharani, and his associates, if we pray regularly, just like in monastic chants are told, that Sarupam Sirupam Tasya Bhajan Isputam Premna Smarana Matara Bhajan Srinuvana. If we do so, then we will be across this anartha very easily, and by mercy of Krishna's mercy of Gurudev, we can advance in devotion. So. If we beyond this, then stagnation will come. After that, ruchi, asakti, so many steps, and they have been, and they have also different, different deviation. So we shall hear all these things from Sri Guru Dev, Hari Krishna. Bancha ke mandal bhas chakri pas, Hari Bancha, Pati ka nanga bani ko, Guru Dev ko chandra. राधिकाये तदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ता भर्ट नवापराध शिवापराध असो एक कांड सफाना देर आर ऑल डेंजरस नवाम प्राधिस most dangerous and after that four and four are dangerous but not so much we should try to avoid all these things after that next happens next time to या एक जगह में मन को स्थिर करना कंसंट्रेट माइंड एट वन पॉइंट इन कृष्ण भक्ति 
that is missed. But get concerned to mind to missed. And get concerned that we should do or not. So concerning to mind. And this is our sadhana. A, this nishtha is matured automatically, ruchi, many tests come in. Tests are of two kinds. If duties are so well decorated, ornamented, oh, how beautiful the duties are. And if not decorated, They are naked like, they are dirty. Oh, Thakurji is not good. This is a good one. There, there is a golden deity there and this is Golden thrones, golden ornaments and golden everything. So glittering deities are there. So we will go there. In Vindavan, now it is, Anyone gone, don't go to bona fide deity that is Govinda, Gopinath, Madan Mohan. No pratishtha, nothing to other temples, very decorated. Golden and all these things are there. So glittering, all the lights have been given. Thakurji is, is feeling hot, everything, but yet in it. Oh, sorry and bring out all persons, relation. Oh, come on, see this, very good it is. But there is kirtan, <coughs> but not like an instrument, no mridanga or mridanga, but you don't want to play good on mridanga. And his verse is no so sweet, no, Kirtan is not. This is Goa. In fact, the instruments are there. Very sweet tone is there. And in so many ways, oh, bona fide Kirtan. All the teachers the, who want to teach, learn. No, no. Cheat. Cheat. All the cheaters collected there. And they want to cheat all. Artificially they are doing all these things. Sometimes they take cigarette, also go inside and take wine, and coming dancing so, and so beautifully decorated, long, long hairs, cut hairs, and they are doing all. Oh, very good kirtan, bona fide. There are no pillar, no country mother, no pure devotees. And where there is very pure devotees, he may be Mahabharata, but he has no sweet voice and no instrument there. And he is telling, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. And beating, trembling. But they would say, oh, he is cheater. They are not cheater, but he cheater. Because there is no truth bias, but he has heart, pure heart, pure devotion. So these are two kinds of ruchi, test. He will go there, where there is so artificial things first. And where there is no artificial, it may be that he will be cheated. He will not hear that thing. So we should be careful for this. If there is a ruchi to Kirtan, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, heard anywhere. Geet Govind was going on in Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard that song. Jai Jai Deva Hare Jai Jai Deva Hare 
जय जय देव हरे जय जय देव हरे सीत कुछ मुंडल मुंडल ने धीत कुंडल कलित ललित बनमा जय जय देव हरे अनिवार्य was singing Devadasi of Jagannath. Very far away in any jungle. But it sounds like there. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Forget who is he. His male are not female. And he runs towards them. Oh, Krishna, Krishna, where you are. He was running so fast that anyone cannot pursue him. So Gobind was telling that, Oh, Mahaprabhu, this family is singing. You should not touch her. Otherwise, I know that you will fall in, jump in, she. So, hear me, let me hear. But he was not hearing. Then he very loudly told, What you are doing? This lady, devotee is singing. You should not embrace at once. He stood up and came home. Govindu has said to me, otherwise you are touched. I must jump in she and I am given by life. Once in the <coughs> midnight, and he was singing very far away Jagannath temple this very song written by Jagannath Gustav in Gita Gobri. Jagannath there came out of the temple and it was love five and more than that so many loves, very strong and they were still but Jagannath went out. Hmm? In France he has a scratches in his body and cloths were torn. In morning, when they opened the gate and saw that there are so many scratches in the body of Jagannath there and cloths were gold and torn, then he, why it began? And they take it so well. They went to the king and killed that saw that we have done something wrong and we have done now some aparat. Then he began to do stalls. In the dream in the night he saw that. Oh, my song was going over there. And I went to here. I could not take up my song. And so in thorns, they scratch his thing. At that, from that, that day, King one, that many one should sing this kirtan in night anywhere. What is this? If there is no voice, good, but yet the Krishna Kirtan is going on. He will hear the Krishna name and he will at once fall flat in the earth. So, we should know carefully all these things. I try to have a ruchi. If there is no tal swar, means no vice, good vice, sweet swar, even we should try to honor the persons who have ruchi. And after this it is bona fide and matured, then ashakti comes. Ashaktis are also of two kinds. Ashakti to bhajan and ashakti to bhajaniya. Bhajani means that is the Krishna and his associates. <coughs> First, this will come. Ashakti to attachment, so much attachment to sadhan bhajan. Without sadhan bhajan. He cannot remain. His life and soul is bhajan. 
and after that it will turn to turns her to asakti to krishna and he the essence we should try to follow all these things we should know all these things and then shuddha bhakti will come and we will progress there now you can hear some chaitanya chaitanya this is sharvak we are going to establish what is the goal of our life and then we should determine that what is our life our sharvak bhajan's goal if it is fixed then we should do something what is sharvak path if we want to rush a bolla where we should go in the shop of rasagolla if you are going to sabji market sabji market means yes. you can have this if you are going to college to purchase this in medical college engineer and college you can have this you have to go in the rasagolla shop and is it but if you have no to payment then you will see and some what are will come <laughs> and then a return so we are going to at first see that what is the goal of our sadhan bhajan why that what we want and then we will discuss about the means and the practice by which it can be attained have told up to he told him that the affection of god gopis towards krishna the love for gopi of gopis to krishna is highest goal he told that requested that you should go on forward if there is anything then he told the affection and love of shrimati radhika is best among all so the shakti is radhika's love affection to krishna krishna has also affection from shrimati radhika or gopis but it is not our goal because radhika affection and love for krishna it is ultimate more more superior than to krishna love to gopis he told narrated from shrimad bhagavata that krishna played on the full on the full moon day in the evening the whole forest was blooming so much blooming means the sky was the reddish because moon reddish moon was coming and at that time krishna played on his flute and all gopis came there all that charmed there are so many persons male and female but they could not listen only gopis listen and they came then <coughs> Krishna told that you should return to him and serve your husbands. Whether his name, his so wretched, even so poor, ugly, making no money, no harm. You should try to serve your husbands. this is our 
वैदिक कल्चर इज हजबेंड इज डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग बट ये सनातन धर्म में दिज वाइफ इट इज ऑल्सो लेप्रोशी बट यू सर सो यू सो ट्रेट एंड कृष्ण शोर सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स बट दे नेवर रिटर्न एंड दे आर टोल्ड हाउ दे कट दे आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ कृष्ण एंड डेंस वॉज गोइंग ऑन देर एट लास्ट कृष्ण वॉज doing rash singing and dancing with them krishna became as there were gopis thousand of thousand gopis so krishna became thousand of thousands krishna and he began to dance with each gopis two krishna one gopi are two gopis in the middle one krishna one krishna she was dancing and in the middle shrimati radhika was dancing with krishna also he was moving and dancing so fast as if you can take a food burning stick and do like this then it will be round far round yes and you will see that there's a light like this round but but no from she is a piece of burning wood she never like this was one but he was dancing so fast that all realized that krishna is with me dancing being like this like this and posture they all thought so krishna is only with me not with anyone only with me he is dancing and he is doing so dancing by that and serving that gopi oh you are tired may i message oh yes this ring has gone there i do that i do that and he took it and bent it He took his pitamba and was with us. Shreds so affectionate. Simrati Radha sir. That all he is so clever. When I see to me he is with me, and then I see there oh she is playing with that gopi. So that gopi. Oh she she is very clever. At once. She was angry somewhat. He thought that I should not join this rush. <coughs> Krishna saw and took Shrimati Radhika. At once he stole her, Shrimati Radhika, and took her back to forest. All gopis were watching. Where Krishna? Where Krishna? They are not saying that Radha has also gone away, and Krishna has taken him. So all were getting searching Krishna, not to Radha. Here and there, they became mad at once. They began to ask from trees, "Oh, you have seen my beloved Krishna? Oh, he is male. That is why he is taking the path of Krishna. He is taking the side of Krishna. He will. Oh, he is so happy. They went to any creeper." And full of that creeper was full of flower. Flowers. But oh, she is so pleased. She had surely Krishna has touched them and went through this way. Oh, you have seen my beloved. He was with me, with us, and now he has done anything else. Have you seen? Oh, they are laughing, seeing us. Oh, Krishna told that don't declare fire. So that is why they are not speaking. They are overjoyed, moving like this. 
they were going here and then weeping, weeping, weeping. Where you are, Krishna? Here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling to Ramananda that Krishna took and has stolen Srimati Radhika from the group of, from the council of all dancing gopis. Clearly, and in that form, he could not take apparently to Srimati Radhika that he see the best among all the gopis. Because he, he was fearing from all the gopis. Because they had promised that to each that you are most beloved to you. That gopi, oh you are most beloved to you. I only have love for you. To that gopi. All each gopi used to know that Krishna loves you. So it will be clear and then they will know that oh he is cheetah. So he is stolen away Srimati Radhika and went anywhere. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that from your telling it is not it is not apparent, clear, that Radha is more superior than all gopis. You should make clear this. Then he wrote, he told another slok. Kansari Rapi, Baddha Shinkhala. That means, Yadhe Goswami has written one book, you know Gita Govinda. Very near and dear to Krishna. Jaja Devari is the first song. In this, it has been written, Jaja Goswami has realized and written that Ras was going in Govardhan, there is Chandra Sarova, where moon stand, stood up for lakhs and lakhs years there, <coughs> watching the Rash. When Rash ended, then he went. So it is called Chandra Sarova. Rash was not for only one night for twelve hours or six hours. So long, long period. At lakhs and lakhs years. So, dance was going on and Srimati Radhika felt that Krishna has ordinary affection and love like all the gopis to me. So he became angry. She left the rash and she went away. Krishna leaving all the gopis and he followed Srimati Radhika. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, oh, now it is clear. Among all gopis, eight gopis are prominent and in eight, two, Chandrali and Radhika, and among men two, Radhika is super -pushed. But you should not think that Chandravali and all the gopis are separate gopis. All are kai, kai view of bodily expansion of Srimati Radhika. For Vilash, Leela, past tense, Srimati Radhika has taken all the shapes. So we should know that Radhika is supermost among all the gopis. So Krishna has told, Napareham niravadda sanjujan, Sasadu kritan vibudadu sahativa, Ma bhajana durujara greha singhala, Sambrisha tadava pratijatu sadhuna. In Rash Krishna told, Don't be angry at me. I have been disappeared. Don't think like so. I am ungrateful because there were some reasons. Gopi asked to Krishna after 
Krishna again appear. Gopis asked a question to him. Gopis were asking to Krishna or beloved. Uh, we are putting a question you can answer. And you should tell that what we are asking properly you should answer. There are so many persons doing frame loving to other person. And he is also we can also have love and affection for each other. So one loves anyone, male or female. And once that he should also love me. He should repay me. And another kind of person are that. Whether anyone love or no, no love, have no love. They will love. And third class, you love or not love, they will love no one, anyone. Understand? The person, they want to love anyone if a reciprocal is there. And some, you love or not, they will love. <coughs> and thirds, you love or not, they will not, never love anyone. And ask a question. Among these, you are in what category? <laughs> they wanted to follow Krishna in a in that trap. In that, <laughs> that Krishna sword accept that he is guilty. So what kind of guilty he is? Gopis wanted to take Krishna in that category. Krishna told, smiling very gently, having some shame, clothes were wrapped here, like he is being here. And he is telling, very humbly he is telling. <coughs> Those who want to love, in exchange of love, they are no, they are no actually love. They are businessmen. To make money, they sell anything. They take that what price and they sell. So those who want to love anyone, that he should also love me, she should also love me. This is really no nothing. Only business. No religion, no truth, nothing is there, no quality is there. Only that business man. And not in this category. That and next, he told that. They look all, they don't want, and he should love or not love. But they love, like father and mother, like guru. Like son, <coughs> they want to love their children, not their father and mother. Worldly loves goes down. And this goes, <coughs> benefit love goes up towards Krishna. So much a difference in that. Krishna told, Guru and father and mother, all kinds of Guru. They, whether anyone love or not, the sons are disciples, but he will love. And I know that you are in that quota again. Whether I love you or not, but you love me. Here there is truth and really it is love affection. But I am not in this category also. And thirdly, there are four kinds of these persons. You love or not, they will not love. Those who are satyakam, aptakam, those who are all kinds of desire have been fulfilled. 
It's no more desire is there. I tell you, because they don't want to gain anything, they have no any worldly desire at all. So if you love or not love, they will love. Like Sukhdev Goswami, like uh, Sanakshananda Sanat Kumar, they don't want even a cloth to cover their all these things. They don't want bread, butter, anything. They are not depending to anyone. They are always realizing in their soul and always. They cannot take a meal for lakhs and lakhs years. They don't want the air also. No heat, no sun, nothing but nothing. So if you go and love, will go your whole wealth, chintami you can get. No need. Your, your all kinds of desire have been fulfilled. Then you love or not love, they don't care. Atakam and Attaram. Atmaram means those who are always satisfied in their Atma, seeing always and so happy there. They have no influence of Maya at all. And they don't know this body and all these things. They have nothing to do with the, all these material things. They don't know life and uh, to birth and death and all sufferings and so. They are quite above all. So, with world, worldly love, affection, rapture and all these things, they have nothing to do. After that, one kind of, that those who are akritagya. Akritagya means? Ungrateful. Ungrateful. Ungrateful creatures. Like there is a scorpion. He was uh, <coughs> floating in the river and he was going to die. Sometimes sinking and such. A sadhu came, a Vaishnava came, and he took up his. He took up and began to take him out of water. But he did so, and he, it was gone in. Again, what? Again, he too, again, he did like this. Three times, four times, then his friend told that, why you are doing so? Then this sadhu was telling, Jeff told him, that if he will not uh, leave his nature, his, his nature, nature. I can also, I will not leave change my nature also. He should cut, bite or cut and I will save him. At last he said. The Vaishnava are like Haridas Thakur was beaten in 20, uh, 22 markets and he was about to die. But he was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So we should not change our, all these moods. So Krishna is telling, Akritagya, those who are Akritagya, ungrateful to their father, mother, and gurus, and anyone, you love or not love, they will love you. Some, like, had an example like this. Father and mothers are too old. They cannot do anything. The son is married and he has two, three children. The old man doing khasi, cold, <coughs> in night, and some dishes, turbans for her children and for her. But they were, all the wealth was for this old person coming from there. Very big house, so much wealth, everything was there due to his father. But now he was disrespecting, dishonoring. 
that and oh why he is not going to die whole day he, and night is coughing 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 like this we <coughs> have no sleep but he is not remembering these are ungrateful creatures like animals but i am not in this category you know if i was like that then i would not have been appear again but i have appear and i am not satta kya atmaram atmaram or artakam because i call you and now you are dancing and doing or i am carrying your all orders so i am not atmaram or artakam i am not atmaram why i used to be angry with my mother when he gives me address uh, hey for any reason he used to give me and i become angry so it is not the symptom of satta uh, atta kam ar atmara sometimes I, i tell lie i have not eaten earth sometimes angry sometimes i am weeping these are not the symptoms of atma rama and now we have come so i am not ungrateful to you so be blessed with me and last guru drohi guru drohi mane not let them doing offense to their guru dev and father and mother they are guru drohi if guru is loving having so much affection but they will have no that but i am not any of i am on this you know that you are really elephant and you are elephant i have only gone out of sight that what you are doing in my absence and whole world will know that they became mad for krishna i wanted to ग्लोरी my affection i love is distributed among all the living beings in whole world that lets and lets and cotis and cotis unnumerable devotees so i have to also some affection to them so my affection and love is divided to all but your single pointed single pointed only to me <coughs> so that if i want that i want to repay but i cannot repay what is your fine because you ask me that you give a benediction that we can serve you more understand this if first we tell that take any benediction ask what you want what is your tell only this we want only this bed benediction that peace to sir and if you will sir i will be more and more the the sorry i know that you are so much qualified i cannot repay but you can repay only how he cannot repay you by your qualification you forgive me and so for <coughs> not fallen but not so much affection as you have so you should forgive me i can 
Gopis said, Oh, you have conquered me. We are defeated. Because you have accepted your defeat. Now you have defeated by this thing, that I have been defeated by you. So we are now defeated. Krishna told that, excuse me. What I have done? I have done for your glorification in the world. That none are like you. So this is the essence of Srimad Bhargavatam. Gopi has no ambition, anything that Krishna should love or not love. They are loving Krishna. Krishna cannot love like Gopis. They have affection and love for Krishna. They are ornamenting themselves. They are doing? Decorated themselves. They are what? Everything. Having so much good flowers here and there, that Krishna will see us and he will become so glad and happy. And Krishna becomes happy, he is like Atmaram, no sorrow, no gladness, nothing, but he will be happy to make gopis happy. Each other that. They don't want anything to be paid. So, this is the highest goal, affection like gopis. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told me, yes, I am satisfied. How to have this kind of affection and love to Krishna? Then he told me something and we will explain another day. But you should must know that Srimati Radhika's affection was Super. And all, we cannot imagine how kind of love, but all also religion, the religion of Atma is the same thing, same love, but not so big, unlimited broad, fraction love, because we are not a, 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 a body of Krishna or Srimati Radhika. We are separated from Krishna. Part and parcel of Krishna. So our affection and love is also part and parcel. Mind. Huh? Mind. So, we should try our hard thing. Not to be pleased in this world, not to collect so much things, because we will have to keep here and go. Where to go we don't know. So we should try more and more to develop out this love from Shraddha to Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, Prem, Sneha, Man, Pranay, Raya, and Pranaya. Following the footsteps of Sampo. Mali, this is. Mali. This is the way. If you want liberation, you can have. You can exercise your mental all these things and think that I am Brahma. This is process. And goal is liberation. If you want to serve Narayan, then you can practice Shavadam, Kirtanam, or Dhatu with the Bhagavad Gita. If you want to go more than that, then you should try to serve Rukmani and Sattabhama in Dvarkadis and Jagannath Puri. In Jagannath Baldesh. If you want don't do it, if you want to more like Sakha, then you can follow Sridam Subhad Madhumandala. If you want to love Krishna like father and mother, like Jasoda and Nanda, you will have to follow them. And if you want to love affection like Gopi, then you will have to follow them. And you can have. We will explain. Go Prima. Yesterday night you told Gajahanta Prabhu that you would tell everyone the story of how the gopis met through Vasamuni across the Jamuna. Perhaps you know. Actually, I have another question tonight. 
Once, Gopi wanted to meet Guru Vasa Rishi. He was first yogi, Brahma yogi, and he was so powerful. He told God, of course, that you should die and one time die. So he was very powerful. He used to live across Jamna. Now we are, uh, we are given that land and that temple 5,000 years and now you are going to manage. <coughs> Building new temples and everything. Uh, so the Gopis wanted to be the Vasha. Gopis prepared so many kinds of mill, delicious things, and they took it in very big, big golden pots. And they saw that we cannot cross Jamuna because it is it was flawed, in very big current. The boats were not going because they were wrong. So they asked Krishna how to cross Jamuna. A very easy thing. Yes, sir. Tell Jamuna. But Krishna Brahmachari. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chant this mantra. Krishna Brahmachari. Krishna Brahmachari. He had never seen any wife, any woman or lady, and he has not connected. To any, no relation at all, he has not seen any woman in his whole life. <laughs> that he should easily cross. Gopi began to smile and we should test it to the end. To Jamuna and the Tolo, Krishna Brahmachari. If he is Brahmachari, never seen, no connection, no relation with any book, any ladies, then we should cross. And telling this, they began to walk over Jamuna River on foot and they crossed. They went there and paid respect to Turbasa Rishi and get lakhs and lakhs dishes full of so good preparations and they kept there. Durvasa Rishi saw and he took like this. In a moment he took all. No remnant was there, not a single thing, puri or misti or anything. <laughs> clean. <laughs> Almost clean. Then they did pranam to all to Rishis and they told to Rishi, we want to cross the river Jamuna. And there is so big Plot and current. There are no boats. How do you get? Krishna told a mantra and he was telling that Krishna is Brahmachari, Krishna is Brahmachari. And telling this, we crossed the river. Krishna has told us to do so. So we have done and crossed the river. Oh, you want to cross the river? So you should tell Jamna. Uh, Durvasa Nirahari. Durvasa is Nirahari. He has not taken anything for any, even his global life. He has not taken water, anything. Then we should cross it. And tell him, they began to walk on the river. And they crossed. Then they came to Krishna and began to laugh and clap him. That it was cheater and as we have met your guru. <laughs> Great teacher. Both you are saying. Like you like this idea. Can you explain? That you are telling that we have no relation, we have never seen, you have come from the womb of any woman. We know this, that you have come from any woman. And you are telling no relation. And you cannot live without any woman, any a woman. <laughs> Always gopi, 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 gopi. 
And we cross telling this. We know that this is not true. But we cross. And he took all these things, dishes. Bilkut chat kar gaya. He clean, taking all things. No remaining was there. And he is telling that, I have never taken in whole life, then you can cross. And the cross deliver. How it is? It's true. Certainly it is true, quite true. I don't see any woman. Never, never. never. I have no lust. I have love and affection for all. And Prabhasari is like saying, what he takes gives to me. He never takes for him. Nothing for him. What he does, what he takes, what he smells, what he does, he gives to me. So he does not take. It is true. And I have no like that kind. So I have no relation with Women's are anything. They knew this fact. They know, know this fact. But for us, <coughs> their question, Krishna and Krishna has re replied. Krishna has told in Gita, na tesu, na tesu I am doing everything. I am fighting, I am taking, I am with all these things, but not entangled in anything. Like sun, sun gives rest to all, but not attached to anyone. Air, water, they are not attached to anyone. If you go and that, then you will die. No harm, no gain to. <laughs> there is no heat in sun. You may die, you may not die. Sun has nothing to do, nothing to gain and to give. She is, he is unaffected. So Krishna is more than that. So we should know all these things and serve Krishna pure hearted. Go, Prima. Hari, Hari, Hare Krishna, and then you shall be prepared for Aarti, then Tulsi Parikrama, then later.